And I actually wanted to ask this in front of trash, is because even when I were announcing that I was signing with trash, right? Trash had a certain reputation, right? He had a certain like yo, certain things that came with doing business with trash. Did that, was that ever reflected on y'all? Like when you, when you heard about the group, did you did you hear about the group or did you hear about you know like uh, things that ha- was was attached to a trash? Not really. I I, I really love trash, so I, I had a relationship, and so I I didn't I didn't no that didn't that wasn't a factor at all. Yeah. How about you, Mark? Yeah, no. For me, it, it didn't really. It wasn't a factor. I yeah. mean, it wasn't really like relevant to me signing. It was just like the music was there. It was like, all right, that's it. It wasn't even this business antic wasn't even a factor. And then you, right, Jared? Because mm-hmm. for the most part, you're you're known more than the label. You know what I'm saying? He's already a legend. You're already a legend. What made you say? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But the thing about it is that, like, Trash had a vision. And what I liked when he came, he laid it out. And I was sold. I was right. like, oh, okay. Now I get it. I heard the music. But right. then when he came and laid it out and laid out the vision, I was like, okay, this is, this is we can work with this. Okay. But, but, hold, but hold up. I think that you guys are jumping a little bit. Because we are. We are. How do you, how do you get to the, to the group to start with? Like, how do you say these two? Sound good together. This is a group. No, no, no. Okay, I, 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 I'm gonna get to that part. But this is the part I, I, I was trying to get to with Trash was the same way it was a, a, a chance and a risk for penalty to kind of fuck with a new right. uh, group. It was also a risk for Trash's reputation to fuck with a, a new group too. You understand what I'm saying? So what I'm trying to ask you a new label too. So what I'm trying to say is, what made you say that? You know what? Because at the time, there were other labels that existed like that, but there was the Steve Rifkins or whatever. There wasn't no other to base penalty on. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I appreciate you saying that too, but you know as well, I didn't let, I look at everything like music. Sometimes that's that's to my default. Because life is life, you know what I'm saying? But I don't, like when I choose a beat, I don't choose the beat. I let the beat choose me. Mm -hmm. So I don't necessarily go and be like, what it was is I let the shit talk to me. I'm going over here, going over there. I'm seeing how different labels work. Mm-hmm. I'm coming off a situation with Molly. No disrespect, love Molly, but it was a type of situation that taught me a lot. The hard way, you know what I'm saying? It's three ways. The best lessons are paid lessons. You can learn, you know, by way of time and or money and or you know whatever, right. and all, all the above. So it's like going through that whole chamber with Molly. I was like, yo, you know, I, I want to do, I want to do things how I see it, how how music should be and how the artist should be. I didn't fully have it down. I kind of went along, you know, learn as I went along too, a lot. And then learn later after it was done, so to speak. So, but um, I let it talk to me and I'm going around to different labels, but I'm, I'm kind of, you know what I'm saying? You know how I am, you know what I'm saying? So I'm going around, but I'm really not asking what I really want. I'm kind of just feeling people out. Cause I figure like by the time I get to what I want, I'll know how to ask for it. You understand right. what I'm saying? Right. You get me? So I'm going around and I'm like, all right, cool. You know, and this is before you even got involved with the picture. Right, that, that's, that's exactly mm. where I was trying to let's go. Let's get to yeah, 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 let's go, let's, yeah, go, let's, come go, on. let's go, let's go, I'm ready. So, <laughs> and we all come with Let's go, let's go, let's go. So, let's go. I'm basically working with him. I'm basically Wait, working with him. Let's If you go over here, let's Carry on, dog. Okay. Um, I got to take it from I come home. Come home from there. Go to Queensbridge. They tell me homie is on the run. Ooh, the y'all is on the run. I ain't know that shit. That's why they went to the oh, yeah, 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 I got you. So after that, I find out they got a record deal. <laughs> <laughs> Faith Newman. Okay, okay, listen. Did you see, I, I went too fast. No, 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 yeah, you kind of jumped. All right, cool. I but, that, but, you gotta realize, but you got to realize, hold on, that's how it looked for me. Yeah. I came home, that's all I saw. But, but okay. this is before you even. Okay, I was he, had a, okay. he didn't have a record deal, right? Okay. What it was is, we had like a bullshit demo deal. No, we, we had. I ain't fucked demo deal. We had believers. Yeah, we had believers. We, we had, had supporters, believers. yeah, we had supporters. Like, like so. You know what I mean? Facts, so. We had one naked tip dog. Yeah. Uh, Faith. Faith. Was Charles Sue around at that time? Yeah, Charles Sue was around. Charles Sue wasn't. Charles Sue. 
he wasn't Charles Sue, but he wasn't a, a directly attached to us like Faith. Or right. oh, Tim Dog. Yeah, Tim Dog. Tim so, Dog took it upon himself to say, I'm going to fuck yeah. this guy. Yeah, but, but Tim Dog's thing, well, PC Tim Dog too. But moving on, good dude, because he didn't say, look, I can't give you a deal. He didn't say, I don't want to give you a deal. He said, I can't bring you over here, your type of music, but I see what you're doing. Yeah. So I'm gonna give, and it was a demo deal. He said, I'm gonna give you a demo deal. Basically, you so know the, the demo deal. Yeah. Yeah. What, what, what the fuck? We broke that up. That's the movie we spent. You had a demo deal. <laughs> he jumped right on that. I feel like I'm in a trap. I feel like it's a lot of trap shit going on. We can do it, man. You are good. Goddamn. Good. 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 Continue though. I had a demo deal. I gotta get that book. I gotta get that new book you read. So anyway, anyway. So boom, we do. Um, we go and do. Um, we go and do. Uh, get the cream. Yep. Cream. We go and do get the cream, right? So. Um, mind your fucking demo deals, like. Right, right. <laughs> and, and, and it's studio time money. money. It's just, it's just <laughs> die. Okay. Um. So, boom. I'm, I'm, in, I'm working with Ayatollah. I bought Ayatollah Beat Machine, so, NPC, uh, and um. Yeah. Of <laughs> Hell yeah. How you gonna get beats? Yeah. You wasn't giving up none of your star money and none of your try money. <laughs> Dude, somebody gotta pay for this. I always shoot back, baby. <laughs> so, so yeah. So we we working with Ayatollah. But this dude, like, I, you know, respectfully, he's in and out. Talk about fly. Yeah, he's in and out. You know, he's sometimes he comes through, sometimes he doesn't. Mm -hmm. If it's some street shit, he's always there. Mm -hmm. You know, might be studio, and he might be like, yo, I gotta go run out of town. Or, you know, I gotta go do some other things. You know, we, you know whatever. So, and I'm getting that vibe that, because at the time, he's nice to me. Mm -hmm. He's still gracious, but at the time, he's nice. And I'm like, yo, what are you doing, bro? So he's like, yo, um, you know, that's when he brings you up. So I'm like, yo, that wasn't the fucking plan. So what are you doing? So he's like, nah, it's my man, ah. Uh. So now I'm like, ah, oh, man. So it kind of de it kind of throws me off for a little second because it was like a, you know, just a, like a sneaky. He was prepared to put her on solo. Yeah, because you know yeah. how it is, like, and you kicked on your curveball. Do me a curveball. So especially a nigga you don't know. Yeah. This was this was this way to me against this way to me against interesting because yeah. I'm like you know you not nah, yeah, man I'm like well fuck that dude yeah. and let's go no. <laughs> did, did, did he tell you where I was from at that time no okay alright cool continue then Let because me, I didn't even as soon as he was saying it I'm like we, we might be throwing off we might be in the crib doing yeah, whatever yeah. we're doing he's like oh I'm like I don't even ask nothing I kind of want him to forget about it. So I'm not gonna feed this shit. Mm -hmm. But I keep, you know, every now and then I throw it around like, yo, y'all go back in and do some more songs. Yeah. And he's like, yo, but my man, my man, my man. And I'm like, all right. So he's like, yo, I don't know, time just flew. And he's like, yo, my man's coming home. He's gonna be I was like, your man's you was telling me about? He's like, yeah, I'm like, don't see the fuck this nigga is, man. I'm dead in this nigga, you know what I'm saying? You're dead in face to face. <laughs> this nigga's out of here. So boom, oh, fuck that. So boom, we go to the train station, and this this nigga that I met when he was probably like 10 or some shit, because his sister India, God bless India, trying to save her little brother. And you know, at the time, I was in a different school of thought, you know what I'm saying? Right. So I got, the, I got the white on, you know what I'm saying? The jolly bear, the koofy, right. you know what I'm saying? Right. She's like, I go, I go, actually go to his crib because she's like, yo, I see you always look like a positive. Yo, talk to my brother. <laughs> like, it reminded me of that DMX kid. He's like, yo, your pops told me, I know your pops. You need to go to the Mars. <laughs> it was just like that. <laughs> yo, where your eyes already? You need to find yourself. So, when I heard that skit, I was like, oh, shit, it's funny as hell. So, long story longer, I go to the crib, ring the bell. This nigga comes out in the hallway, right? Or the mag, and I'm like, hey, what's this motherfucker like? So when I go to the train station, I'm like, oh shit, this dude? Right. And I don't know, it was just it was no more question. Just but now it's like, I gotta see what he got. It wasn't like I'm getting this nigga no more. Right. It was like, ah, this nigga's kinda high, he's just he's fucked up. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Boogie the law. So we, this little time goes by, we building, kicking it, throwing back, back and forth ideas. We go in the studio. I, 
I, I grab a Jay Supreme from Queensbridge, who happened to produce damn near every big dude from Queensbridge's first demo. That was Hot Day's little guy, or no? Nah, no, I wouldn't so, say that. Okay. He was Hot Day's partner. Okay, okay, okay. Stop that slide. Okay, okay. So, okay, okay. No, I was asking. All right, so, <laughs> so, so, um, yeah, Jay Supreme, beautiful dude, still working with him to this day. We actually working on a project, but I brung. We got the beat first. That's when tapes was still rocking. Mm. We got the beat first. For half a million, you talking about? Yeah, of okay. course. So, 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 um, which was, I think was a great, dope song. Um, I don't even remember, remember why we didn't put it on the album. What happened, Martin? No, you gotta yeah. figure that out. Nah, what but song you is this? Half a mil. But you gotta saying? realize also, too, that wasn't part of them. Yeah, yeah that, that wasn't part of them. No, no, it wasn't, but. I'm gonna tell you why Half a Mill was one of my favorite sessions so you, you can pick up right there. But hold on, wait, one second. This is the Yo, first one on the joint? Yes, wait a minute. Okay. Let me, let me, let me do that. So okay, all right, that all right, cool. Yeah. I know, I know what you're doing. Yeah. I know what you're doing. So it's your record, he jumps on it, now it's Capone. No, it's in my record. Uh. I was working on a whole nother record with Bug Naked Tim Dog. Yeah. Right. And he pulls up to the session. Yeah. And Jason Free has music, his beats in his session. And then I'm like, my brother's here. Right. I, I forget all my solo right. shit we out was, the window. We, we was actually oh, trying no. to get you on the, what's the name? The soundtrack. The soundtrack. Yeah. Um, um, I forgot what soundtrack, but. At the end of the day, it was, I was doing a soundtrack work. Right. And then Slime pulled up. Was it South Park? Maybe one of them. It was South Park, yeah. Time. But um, Slime pulled up, and it was like, my niggas here. Oh, but the funny, yeah. shit, the funny shit out of everything is I still never heard them rhyme either. Oh, wow, shit. That's crazy. So, <laughs> I never heard this shit. So you you uh, about to never heard this for hearing them rhyme? Oh, God. Yo. We never rhyme together. No, we never rhyme together. together. But you heard me rhyme. No, but I'm saying, like, no, what I'm saying is, though, I've, like, when you rhyme on, like, Right. Like that's different yeah. going in the, the studio. studio. Yeah, 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 I'm yeah. on studio time right now. Yeah, you're right. I still don't know what slime could do. I'm right. vouching for him, but I don't know if that shit we that's was, very true. He was doing right. and all that me. was gonna resonate to the booth. Right. So I'm vouching, vouching, vouching. And, and then, then me, I'm super five percent of the time, so every rhyme I got here. I don't, yeah. I don't got the rhymes down here. I got it all here, so I'm not only singing it from 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 here, but I'm singing it uh, from here. Yeah. Fuck ahead. Yeah, so the whole shit was was that's how that session came to play. My nigga was here. It wasn't like we see we, we got a okay, record in play. I wanted you to finish what and, you were saying, right? You know what I'm saying? Uh, I fall back to move forward. Yeah, but listen. Forward, it's all right. Uh, about that time. <laughs> <laughs> Chill, young blood. So, um, <laughs> so, yeah, so now we in Power Play. We get Jay, uh, Jay Supreme to come through and this is my first time really hearing Nori. Like, cause you know what? Like he said, we would, I heard him when we'd be in the crib and, and we'd just be playing beats. And you know, he, he spit some shit. And I, but I, I didn't, I couldn't put him together right away in my mind. I couldn't, I couldn't grasp it, you know what I'm saying? Like, so now we in the studio, it's different. And now I need to see if he understands structure. Now I need to see if he, you know what I'm saying? But he was just wow, like his shit was all over the place, but it was raw. And you know, it's no, it's no, like he said, the, the you know, um, whatever the words you used. Um, <laughs> crazy. This <laughs> guy, antics. Uh, we get back to that, but I, I, I like that, you know what I'm saying? Because to me, not because it's wild or whatever, because to me, like at that time, I'm very passionate about music, you know what I'm saying? And to me, that comes from a real place that it was authentic. I, I relate to. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, so as I'm listening, I'm like, oh shit. But I'm like, yo, this shit is, his voice sound bugged to me. It kind of reminded me of like when Shane was here, he said, when him and Marley listened to Rock Him. Mm. And it was like, yo, what the fuck? It's so over there that it's like, cause Pone is nice, but Pone has that Queensbridge vein. He has that vein, but Lori came from a place that he couldn't take when he had. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's different. So it's like more or less he the father of style. And you know, for, for contrary to what belief is out there, I never wrote no rhymes for him. I helped him with his rhymes. I never wrote his rhymes. But I would help him with the rhymes. <laughs> Listen, hold on, I gotta tell the truth. When I say help, 
in a respectful sense. Listen, stop playing, man.